My name is Flossie Park, and I am the director of the 200-hour yoga teacher training at the Soul of Yoga, specifically the Hatha yoga teacher training. Our training is not just about learning a bunch of asanas and how to repeat them back. Our training is about how to live it. And when you live it, you become a better teacher. When you live it, you take it off the mat. And then what you bring home to the mat is your experiences and then you integrate. You become, you come home to your body, you come home to your breath, you come home to your mind, and ultimately you come home to your heart. But that's a gift of yoga. But then to teach it, to share it, you get to watch people do that. And there is nothing more rewarding than that, is to watch people come home to themselves. And you know, what makes our training different than a lot of the trainings out there is because we balance science and spirituality and the physical and the metaphysical. And because we are a yoga therapy and we are an institute, it's about safety. It's understanding how each asana works in your body and how can you articulate that to the people that you are teaching and what is safe for them. Because more and more people are doing yoga now. It's not just the young and the beautiful, it's the all generations and the beautiful. And the Hatha poses are individual. Individual poses we break down and you really study them. And then you find them in your body. And Hatha can be modified for different populations, different sizes, different ages. More and more people are doing yoga now and it's very much about coming into, um, we're taking responsibility, taking responsibility for yourself instead of giving responsibility for yourself away. And there's nothing more perfect than to own yourself, own your journey. The first day of the training, I say to the students, if you show up in all of your vulnerability and all of your be belief or non-belief in yourself, but you are willing to step into this, I promise you, you will be transformed. And that's what I look at the Hatha training about. It is transformation through the practice of yoga. What happens is your suffering, the things that you have gone through, become your gift. And that is the very thing that you are then able to share with others. So if you are or were um, self-sabotaging in a lot of ways, you will be able to teach to the people who self-sabotage in those ways. And that's a huge gift. And that's the diversity of our program. It's about an all-encompassing self-acceptance of what is, and little by little identifying the BS and being able to transform it so that you can then take it up and offer this to the world, both in a yoga class and also just energetically putting it out in the world. That's so important right now. Living your yoga means practicing nonviolence. How many times are we being violent on ourselves? So what a lot of people discover is that they're being incredibly violent on themselves beating themselves up all the time. But when you have your classmates and a support group that are um, supporting you to be authentic and say, whoa, I did it again. Whoa, I did it again. Little by little, the brain starts to rewire that when you start that violence towards yourself, you stop it faster. And so every week we, we do one of those yamas or niyamas and we study it. And that's why throughout the training, it's really literally rewiring our brain to operate in a different way.